Hey folks, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors. And today I'm down in Kentucky, fishing for bass. We're uh, staying at the Moores Resort, and I'm fishing with a great friend of mine, Bill McDonald, professional bass fisherman. And we're after these, some largemouth bass. May I help you there, Larry? Sure. Got a whole base full of hooks right there on that red-eyed chat. Yeah. <laughs> nice. At any rate, we're going to pick this guy's brain and see if we can learn a little <laughs> bit about bass fishing, how he fishes his tournaments, what kind of structure we have in the lake, and hopefully put more of these guys in the boat today. Good, healthy looking fish. Yep. You can see he's been hooked before, but catch and release works, no doubt about it. That's right. That's a good one. That's the right size. Oh, beautiful. Nice. That's what we came here to get. That's right. Hey, look, now Larry's got one. <laughs> We're just out here just fan casting around, trying to catch them oh, here. Oh, yeah. There you go, Larry. Oh, beauty. Beauty. Well, what we're doing here, like I said, there's not a lot of cover. It's kind of featureless. So we're just out here. We're throwing spinner baits. We're you know, throwing a red-eyed shad and just seeing what we can do. And and so far, it's starting to pan out pretty good out here, Larry. Yeah. That's, that's a growed up fish. Anytime you can catch these. That's a growed up <laughs> one. Come Man, here. that was a beautiful hook set, buddy. <laughs> I don't mind jerking. Rage bug. You know, like I said, we're just using a variety of baits going down through here. We got a little treetop here. And what the heck, I'm gonna flip around here and see if I can't get one out of there. So Billy, we got a front coming in. Do you think that's turning on the fish? And, and is it, I mean, we, we slowed our baits down a little bit. Um, normally this time of year, it's a faster type of, of reel, isn't it? Yeah, but you know, I mean, it, it's late or mid-October here. You know, we got 80 degree temperature. It's been extremely warm. As front's coming in, it's gonna be our first cold front. You know, we got up this morning, what, 72 degrees or something like that on the way out here. And tomorrow morning, it's supposed to be 46. So if these fish are gonna eat, they're gonna eat today. And it looks like they're starting to play the game. Oh, a little guy. <laughs> I got the next class here, Bill. Uh oh, quick release. Quick release. That was a good quick release. So when you start fishing a lake, I mean, how do you attack it from the beginning? Is it more confidence with your, with your selection of lures or is it what the structure says? I mean, seasonal patterns are gonna play a, a big key to it. So, I mean, it's fall, what do you throw? You know, you'll throw a blade bait, you'll throw a red-eyed shad, and you always gotta have a flipping bait and a topwater. So anytime it's that time of year, those are your basics to start with and then you can evaluate it as the day goes on. Does confidence play a factor in, in your selection or when you're, on the, when you're on the tour? Or? Oh yeah, confidence plays a major key. If you don't have confidence in what you're throwing, you're gonna be dead in the water. Yeah. You know, they're busting these shad over here. So I took that new 4.0 4 square bill. There's another one there with it, Larry. Wow. And he ate it. Not the biggest fish in the world, but it's a daggone good solid fish. Like I said, that 4.0 keeps any shad busting around here. We just come out this is an oyster color. Thought, what the heck, it's got to work. First cast. <laughs> I love it. Oh, nice jump. What are you doing over there, Larry? You got a good one, Bill. <laughs> Man, he wants nothing about this boat. Oh, yes. Open, wide open for you. Yeah, that's got a mouthful of hooks there. I'll just grab him like that. That's a little safer. Yeah. <clears throat> that one there stuck right in that hard part in the lip. I thought, man, as soon as I saw him jump, I thought, ah, there's going to be another one gone. It's amazing how a fish like that can spit a hook that, that oh, yeah. quickly. Yeah, and you can't touch it without oh, another one. Jeez. <laughs> Holy smokes, Bill. <laughs> I set my rod down, the lure was hanging over the side of the boat, and this the fish out, came right up off. and smacked it. That's a first for me. Wow. And this thing's a monster. Unbelievable. I would here, never, have you ever seen that? That's the first time. <laughs> Small mouth, maybe, but large mouth, no. Okay, let's see if we can get him over. Got him? I will if you look in his mouth. There he goes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> back to backers. <laughs> Don't get in. This is what I did. Around. This is what I did. I put the rod down, he unhooked it, he threw it back in, and that thing just hit. Smoked it. 
Phil, any way I can keep this lure? Everything comes at a price. We can work something out, I promise you. <laughs> well, let's see if we can do it again. There we go. <laughs> Hang on. Watch that rod. <laughs> well, here we go again. Got him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to set my lure in the boat this time, Bill. Set it in the boat <laughs> so we don't have another one trying to pull your rod out of the boat. Awesome. Not as big as the ones you had there on the back to backers, but. What a day. Oh, it Rain, has. clouds, everything. Wind. Ca catching them almost <laughs> on every single bait we have in your tackle box. <laughs> we talked about structure, we talked about how this guy fishes. Hopefully, you learned a little bit and you could put more of these guys in your boat as well. But I want to thank Billy McDonald for joining me today. And thank you, Larry. Appreciate Anytime, it. buddy. Appreciate it. Folks, when you come down to Kentucky Lake, just go hit some bass up. I'm Larry Ladowski from Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back. I'll catch you later.